Okay, so welcome to lecture number. We'll continue the last lecture. Uh, in that we studied about uh, analog system. Okay, so we'll continue that one and we'll take some problem uh, on analog system also. Okay, so. Okay, so there are some eco problem now. So, in the last lecture, we talked about uh, the analog system. Now, uh, you know what uh, the analog system, uh, like for example, in uh, Mechanical force voltage or uh, this one force uh, current analogy or uh, force torque. I'm sorry, I'm getting my echo. What is the problem? Okay. Mm. So here uh, we will see uh, both uh, this one, uh, force voltage analogy as well as force current analogy and torque voltage and torque current analogy. So already we have studied uh, the mathematical modeling. So already this part I have covered in last lecture uh, uh, and since now we are doing that one. Uh, this was basically for translational mechanical system. So there are three basic elements, mass element, uh, damper or dashboard and spring element and mathematical modeling of that is like this. Whereas in uh, rotational mechanical system, uh, you have this moment of inertia, then damper or dashboard rotational, rotational spring is there and their mathematical modeling we have studied in last lecture. Uh, after that, we have studied this example also. Uh, we have taken two examples. And uh, then also we have covered up to this point means uh, what is back analog system. So last time we we, uh, we studied up to this point now what is back analog system. So system is said to be analogous if their mathematical model is equivalent. Uh, so also I give I give one example of system uh, like for uh, simple RLC series circuit and simple mechanical system and where the mathematical model of RLC series circuit and mathematical model of this mechanical system is same. So that's why these two systems are analogous to each other. Now, why analogous systems? As I said, that designing mechanical system, like for example, uh, for designing mechanical system, you require the mass element, dashboard element, and spring element. But the cost of this mass element, dashboard element, and spring element is very high. Whereas the designing electrical system, you need resistance, inductor, and capacitor. And the cost of resistor, inductor, capacitor is uh, very, very less as compared to the cost of mass, cost of dashboard or cash flow spring. Now, can we design a mechanical system in terms of electrical system? So, if they are analogous, then it is possible. So, we have to find out the analogy between uh, mechanical system and electrical system and so on. Now, as I said, the uh, analogous system means two systems are said to be analogous if their mathematical model is same. So, uh, uh, like uh, okay, two different okay, or their uh, differential equations are in the same form. So the two differential, uh, different physical system, for example, one mechanical and other mechanical in, in nature, which can be described by the same same set of differential equation, are called as the analog system. 
and analogous relay will produce the same response uh, to a given excitation. So, by taking advantage of that one, we can design a mechanical system in terms of uh, theoretical system and so on. So, that will reduce the designing cost of mechanical system. So, that's why analogous systems. Uh, okay, I think the analogy is very very important. I hope that this is clear to you. Right now, hello sir. Uh, see, uh, we studied. Uh, like uh, this one, RLC series circuit and RLC parallel circuit, parallel circuit in your second year. And now, this third year course, we have studied uh, this uh, uh, transistor mechanical system and rotational mechanical system. In transistor mechanical system, basically, you have uh, um, this uh, motion in the uh, straight path or curved path, whereas in rotational mechanical system, your motion is angular motion or your object will rotate along its own axis. and uh, so there is a torque involved, whereas in translation mechanical system, when you apply force, there will be uh, displacement. So force is involved in the translation mechanical system, whereas in case of rotational mechanical system, there is a torque, uh, okay, which will rotate that system. Whereas in case of electrical series electrical circuit, okay, voltage is applied. So voltage is the driving force, okay, uh, in series electrical circuit. In parallel circuit, when you apply current. A source so this current will get divided so current is a driving source in that case see that in parallel the series circuit voltage is the driving source whereas in parallel circuit current is the driving source now in case of translation mechanical system what we apply we apply force so force is driving system and what is the resultant resultant is basically the displacement so output is displacement or response is displacement in case of rotational mechanical system what is the source Source is basically or driving force is torque, so that is tau, and the resultant is angular displacement. Right? So we will have the analogy between suppose, for example, if you consider the series RLC circuit and then translational mechanical system and rotational mechanical system, then we will have between translational mechanical system and series RLC circuit that will be the force voltage analogy. So that is post voltage analogy between uh, translation mechanical system and um, uh, parallel circuit of electrical that will be post current analogy. Whereas in rotational mechanical system and series circuit, it will be torque voltage analogy. And between uh, uh, this one, parallel circuit of electrical uh, um, uh, system uh, and uh, uh, rotational mechanical system, that will be torque current analogy. So we can have force voltage. Force current or torque voltage and torque current analysis. Right now, see the force voltage analysis. Consider, like, for example, this is the mechanical system and this is the uh, series RLC circuit where V is the voltage source, uh, okay, and RLC series RLC is connected in a uh, series. Okay, now if you draw the mechanical network, okay. And if this is basically the uh, displacement point, as I said, that displacement point will consider as a node, and the remaining point will be the reference. So, equivalent diagram, mechanical equivalent diagram, or nodal diagram will be like this, right? Now, if you write the equation for this one, and if you write the equation for this uh, electrical system, so what will the equation for this system? That will be equal to V equal to uh, R into I plus L D I by dt plus 1 upon C integration of I dt. Whereas, what will be the equation for this one? That will be equal to F is equal to M into D2 X of T by T square plus B into dx by dt plus K into X of T. Now, this voltage or current can be written as it is a rate of change of uh, charge. So, if you write the equation, we have seen in last uh, lecture, uh, we have studied that one and I have shown you how these two equations are equivalent to each other, right? So, uh, see that uh, this is the equation of your, uh, this one, um, uh, your series of this one, uh, mechanical system, translation mechanical system, that is m into d2x of d by dt square plus b into dx by dt plus k into uh, x of d equal to f. So, this is the mathematical model of uh, your translation mechanical system, whereas uh, the electrical system mathematical model is L D I by dt plus 1 upon C integration of I dt uh, plus R I dt. And if you replace this current I as a rate of char charge, so this will be equal to what? 
L into D2, uh, D2 uh, Q by DT square. So that's why Q double dot is greater here. Then R into DQ by DT, that is nothing, Q dot. And 1 upon C into Q, and that is equal to B. Now, if you compare equation number 1 and 3, so both equations are in the same form. See that here X double dot is there. Here q dot is there, here x dot is there, here q dot is there, here x is there, here q is there. So what is what are the analogous quantities? Now see the analogous quantities between this is the translational mechanical system and this is the electrical series electrical circuit. Okay, so both the equations are in the same form, so that's why we are calling that as a um, uh, analogous circuit or analogous uh, uh, systems. So this transmission mechanical system is analogous with this series order uh, electrical system. Now, which are the analogous quantities to one to one comparison? If you do, so M is nothing but the mass is analogous with what inductor L. Then displacement X is analogous with what charge Q. Then B is nothing but the frictional force of dashboard or uh, dashboard coefficient B is analogous with your resistance R. Then already we have considered this x and q. Then k is nothing but the spring stiffness, which is analogous with 1 by c of electrical system, and force is analogous with uh, voltage V. So these are the analogous quantities between uh, this one uh, uh, force and voltage analogy. Force voltage analogy. So which are the uh, analogous quantities? Mass is analogous with. Inductance is analogous with charge, then uh, B is nothing but your uh, frictional coefficient of uh, which is analogous with resistance R, then K spring thickness is analogous with 1 by C, and force is analogous with basically voltage, right? So uh, we can write uh, that as uh, this one. See that uh, force is analogous with voltage V, okay, in this um, translational mechanical system and electrical system. Okay, C compare this one first column and the last column. Force is analogous with voltage V, mass is analogous with inductor L, damping coefficient V is analogous with resistance R, and spring constant is analogous. Then linear displacement X is analogous with charge. And linear velocity x dot is analogous with current i. So velocity is uh, okay is analogous with current i. Now, if you draw the rotational mechanical system, okay, your equation will be what? See, I mean, rotational mechanical system, your equation will be uh, see here uh, instead of uh, this um, m, it will be z, and instead of uh, this x. The, that will be theta. Theta will be the angular displacement. So z into a uh, theta double dot plus b into theta dot plus k into uh, theta, which is equal to torque tau. So this equation of rotational mechanical system will be analogous with electrical system. So that's why uh, here those quantities force is analogous with or this voltage is analogous with torque then moment of inertia is analogous with l damping coefficient b is analogous with r and spring constant k is analogous with 1 by c and angular displacement theta dot is analogous with charge q and angular velocity okay it should be theta only angular velocity is theta dot okay is analogous with uh, You are getting echo in the voice, Aryan? Uh, yes, sir. I can hear from two accounts. Two accounts of just one minute. Huh? Uh, Aryan, you are getting echo? Uh, yes, sir. I think everyone is getting. I don't know. What about other students, please? Yes, sir. Actually, this is creating a problem for me. Because I have connected my surface along with this one, uh, just to basically explain the things. Uh, Sir, you can mute one of the two meetings. Already, uh, already I have done that one. Oh, okay. I have done that one. Uh, so just I am using my surface for writing purpose, and then this desktop for uh, okay, 
video as well as audio part. So that is the problem right now. It's okay, sir. We can bear. Okay. Uh, just okay. Let me continue. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this is all about uh, this one. Uh, analogous quantities in force voltage uh, and uh, torque analogy. Similarly, you can write the analogous quantity uh, in uh, force current analogy or torque current analogy. So, in that, what you have to do, you have to use the parallel circuit of electrical system. So, parallel circuit, you know that uh, in the uh, this one. Uh, um, okay, now uh, basically uh, we'll see that one in later. But how to construct the force voltage analogous or uh, uh, analogous electrical system um, in force voltage analogy? So the construction of analogous electrical system is explained uh, as like this. Uh, so here, uh, like for example, you have been given the mechanical system, and then first thing is that you have to draw the equivalent diagram, nodal equivalent diagram, which we have uh, studied that one. So number of nodes equal to number of Displacement point, so x1 and, and x2 displacement point are key one. And then after that, that uh, this, this mass element, one of the end of mass element will be connected to the nearest displacement point, and then uh, this dash point is connected between x1 and x2, so, so it is connected between x1 and x2. And then uh, already I have explained that one how to draw the uh, uh, this one mechanical diagram or basically nodal diagram. And once you dry, uh, write the nodal diagram, then you have to write the nodal equation for this one. So, uh, steps for drawing the analogous uh, system is that each node in the mechanical network corresponds to a loop in the electrical system. Okay, And then identify the mechanical elements connected to each node and the corresponding loop will contain the electrical analogous. Okay. So, identify those mechanical elements interconnecting two nodes and the respective electrical analogous uh, will be connected in series while being common to two loops corresponding to two, uh, these two nodes. Right? And then finally, identify those uh, uh, mechanical elements connected distinctly to each node. Uh, the respective electrical analogs will be connected in series and will be uh, constituted in a distinct segment of the corresponding loop. This is basically when you are okay uh, drawing the uh, force voltage analog circuit or force current analog circuit. Okay, first thing is that okay, uh, um, you have to draw uh, this one nodal uh, equivalent diagram, and then from that, okay, in, the, um, uh, in uh, the force voltage analogy, the branches which are connected in parallel will be connected in series, and the branches which are connected in series will be connected in parallel, and then. Corresponding, you have to write the analogous quantities which we have seen earlier. See that analogous means this one uh, force will be replaced with voltage, mass will be replaced with inductance, damping coefficient will be replaced with resistance, spring will be replaced with 1 by C. Uh, if you are drawing the translational uh, this, uh, force voltage analogy, if you are drawing the force torque analogy, in that case, in force torque analogy, force will be replaced with torque. Mass will be replaced with moment of inertia. Damping coefficient will be replaced with uh, this uh, uh, this one. Sorry, uh, this uh, torque will be replaced with voltage. Moment of inertia will be inductance. Damping coefficient will be replaced with resistance R and so on. So this is the table of analogous quantities, right? So uh, basically, first thing is that you draw that mechanical equal diagram or nodal diagram, and then uh, what you have to do? You have to connect the components which are connected in series will be connected in parallel in analogous diagram, and then uh, uh, just you write the analogous elements there, right? So this is the procedure basically. Each node in the mechanical uh, network corresponds to the loop in the electrical system, and identify the mechanical elements connected to each node. The corresponding loop will contain their electrical analogous, which we have seen, what is by analogous uh, 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 part of that one. Identify those mechanical elements, okay, uh, interconnecting two nodes, and the respective electrical analogous will be connected in series while being uh, common to the two loops corresponding to these two nodes, okay. 
and then identify those mechanical elements connected distinctly to each node. The respective electrical analogs will be connected in series and will be considered a distinct segment of the analogous system. All right. Then force current analogy. Okay, so this we talked about the force voltage analogy or torque voltage analogy. Now, for considering the force current analogy, what you have to do, you have to consider the parallel circuit. Now, this is the parallel RLC circuit. So, this I current source is there, and then uh, this I1 is the current flowing through this resistance R, I2 is the current flowing through this capacitor C, and I3 is the current flowing through inductor L. So, total, if you apply the KCL, Kirchhoff's current law, total incoming current at the junction must be total outgoing current, right? So, I must be equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. So, by KCL, you will get I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Now, what is I1 or what is I? I is nothing but basically V, okay. Uh, I1 is nothing but basically V by R. Then I2, what is the current I uh, flowing to this uh, uh, capacitor? Current or uh, uh, current flowing to this uh, inductor uh, is given by 1 upon L into integration of VDT. And uh, current flowing through this capacitor will be equal to C dV by dT. And that is equal to I. Now, uh, see that this is equation number 4. So this is the current flowing through this resistance. This is the current flowing through this inductor. And this is the current flowing through this capacitor, and that is equal to I. So we just we have written the individual currents here. Okay, only thing is that while writing, I have interchanged I2 and I3 here. Okay, uh, so this is equation number four. And now it is known that the voltage V and magnetic flux phi are related by uh, what is this? V is equal to d phi by dt, whereas I is equal to dt by dt. Rate of, okay, rate of charge is nothing but current. So similarly, rate of flux is nothing but the voltage. So if you replace this V by phi d phi by dt, so what will be this our equation? So this equation will be equal to C that V dot is nothing but phi double dot because V is nothing but phi dot. So V dot will be equal to phi double dot. So C into phi dot will be double dot will be there. Then 1 by R, see this is 1 by R. V, what is V? V is nothing but the phi dot. And then 1 by L, what is this integration of V dt? See that if V is equal to d phi by dt, so if you integrate that one, so integration of V dt would be equal to phi. So 1 by L phi uh, equal to, uh, which is equal to i. So this is equation number 5. Now you know the equation for translational mechanical system that is equal to m a2, uh, m x, uh, m into x double dot plus b into x dot plus k into x which is equal to f, that, that equation you know. So this equation and that equation, equation number 1 will be same in form. So this uh, okay, circuit is analogous with the uh, translational mechanical system. So uh, we can one to one compare uh, those elements of uh, this one um, analogous quantities. Now see that uh, comparing this equation one and five. You know, I'll just for understanding purpose, I'll show you what was equation number one. So equation number one was what m into d d two x by d two x of e by d t square that is x double dot plus b into d x by d t that is not d into x double uh, x dot plus k into x which is equal to f so this is the equation of what this is the equation of your um, uh, this system okay so this system is drawn here and if you apply this uh, uh, Newton's law you will get this equation uh, which is equal to uh, this one. Now, this equation 1 and equation number 5 of your um, um, this one current analogy is same in the form. See uh, the, here, pi double dot is there, there x double dot is there, here pi dot is there, there x dot is there, here pi is there, there is x is there, there here i is there, there f is there. So, we can compare all those and, and even if you write the equation for transfer rotational mechanical system so you know that equation number three is there which is rotational mechanical system and if you now one to one do the comparison you will get uh, the analogous quantities in force current analogy as force is analogous with torque okay which is analogous with current i in force current analogy earlier what we have studied we have studied force voltage analogy here force current analogy we are studying so force is f 
and uh, okay, which is analogous with current I. In torque, torque is analogous with current I in uh, torque current analogy. Mass M is analogous with capacitor C, whereas moment of inertia J is also analogous with uh, capacitor C. Now, see that earlier it was see, in case of uh, this one, uh, force voltage analogy. What was that analogous quantity? Uh, this mass M was analogous with inductor. But now, in force current analogy, mass M is analogous with uh, capacitor, right? So, mass M is or in a moment of inertia J is analogous with capacitor C. Damping factor B, uh, in case of translational and rotation mechanical system, is analogous with conductance Z. So, uh, uh, Z uh, is the conductance, so which is analogous with this one. And speaking constant K, uh, which is analogous with 1 by L, reciprocal of inductance, and uh, uh, see what is my conductance? That is 1 by R. Now. Then linear uh, displacement X is analogous with angular displacement uh, B here, and magnetic, which is analogous with X pi, and linear velocity X dot is analogous with uh, this one. Uh, angular velocity theta dot and which is analogous with voltage B. So this, these are the analogous quantities in terms of force current analogy or force uh, torque current analogy earlier where the analogous quantities uh, in terms of force voltage analogy and uh, uh, torque voltage analogy. So this, okay, so there are two analogous systems. One is based on the voltage voltage with force and torque and another one is current with force and torque so this is current with force and torque so this is translational mechanical system is force and rotational mechanical system is torque so we have studied two analogous system one is force voltage analogy and another one is force current analogy right now for drawing the force current analogy, it is very simple. You don't have to change anything. So just draw the mechanical equivalent diagram and then replace the component as it is from the uh, current, uh, this one, uh, your uh, equivalent electrical um, uh, parallel uh, system, right? Current system. So the procedure is very straightforward here. Uh, in force current analogy, consider the mechanical system as shown in. Uh, so each node in the mechanical ne network drawn for the mechanical system. So you have to basically draw the mechanical diagram, neural diagram, and then uh, each node in the mechanical network drawn uh, for mechanical system correspond to the junction node in the electrical uh, uh, as well. Replace excitation source and uh, passive element in mechanical network by the analogous electrical system. See, in case of voltage analogy, you were changing that series into parallel and parallel into series, but here you don't have to change, you have to just replace the analogous quantities. So, it is very simple. Uh, force current analogy is uh, very simple as compared to uh, force voltage analogy and so on. And this will yield the analogous uh, system. So, uh, uh, that is all about all this analogous system. Uh, just for your understanding purpose, I'll take one example how to draw the uh, analogous uh, electrical system based on the uh, force voltage or force uh, current analogy, analogy, right? So that will clear your idea. Suppose, for example, uh, okay.
Correct. So, for example, you have uh, given the problem. Okay, and problem is uh, like this. Like uh, this is the mechanical system which is given to you, and you have been asked to draw. Uh, uh, analogous system based on force voltage or force current analysis. So we will draw first force current analysis. Uh, so this is the problem. Okay. And so this is M1 and this is F. Okay. And then this is K1. And then force is applied here F of T. Right. And uh, there is one spring K12 here, okay, which whose value is K12, and then another mass element is there, so which is equal to M2. And there are basically two displacement points one is X1 here, and another one is X2 here, right? So these are the two displacement points, and the question is that, okay, uh, draw the uh, analogous diagram, okay. Uh, in terms of force current analysis, okay. So first, what you have to draw? Yeah, you have to draw. First thing is that you have to draw the analogous or mechanical equivalent diagram. So draw mechanical equivalent diagram. So first will be draw mechanical equivalent diagram. Mechanical equivalent diagram. Diagram. Now, how you are going to draw the mechanical equivalent diagram? As I said that, first you have to draw the number of nodes. Number of nodes will be equal to number of displacement points. Now, in this problem, there are two displacement points. One is this x1 and another one is x2. So, I draw here x1 as one node and x2 as another node. Right? Now, one more node you have to take as a reference node. So this is the reference node. Now between x1, so which are the elements connected? This m1 is connected, f is connected, k is connected, force is connected, right? So always connect this first force as it is, and the direction of the force will be like this. So f will be like this. And uh, this mass element, one end of mass element is connected to the uh, this one, the nearest displacement point that is m1. Uh, is connected to the x1 and another end is connected to the reference. Now similarly see that f is one end of this f is connected uh, to this one. One end of f is connected to the reference and another end is connected to the uh, x1. So I'll connect this f uh, one end of f uh, to the reference and uh, so this is f, uh, f and another end will be connected to the ground. Right. Now uh, similarly, uh, K, one of, end of the K is connected to the uh, reference and another end is connected to the ground. So this is K and you know that this K12 is connected between X1 and X2. So I'll draw this K12 between X1 and X2. So this is K12 and uh, you know that M2 is connected between X2 and uh, this one. X2, so this is M2. M2 is connected between X2 and uh, uh, this one. Now, in case of basically uh, uh, drawing the mechanical, um, uh, this one, uh, analogous electrical system based on force voltage analogy, so what will the diagram of force voltage analogous system? So, force voltage diagram, uh, force current analogy, okay, force current analogous circuit. So, uh, force current. Analogous circuit. I'll draw this circuit. Okay. So just just you have to convert as it is. Okay. So here there are two nodes. Right. Now this F is nothing but current I. Current I will be the F. Okay. And then M1. See that in the case of your uh, force current analogous circuit. What is equivalent to M1? M1 is equivalent basically uh, is equivalent to uh, what? So that is nothing but 1 by uh, L1. Now, 
1 by L1 is uh, the equivalent. See that. What is the M1 equivalent? M1 equivalent is nothing but uh, this one now, 1 by L1. So uh, this will be equal to 1 by L1. Uh, and uh, okay, uh, this one. Uh, M1, uh, if you find the um, this presentation, so you know that uh, in force current analogy, force okay, force is equal to current I and M is equal to capacitor C. Sorry, uh, it is equal to capacitor C. So I'll write this as a C, right? So I'll write this as a capacitor C, okay, and I'll call it as a C1. Then uh, for uh, this one, uh, so M1 is over, then uh, spring is also equivalent to your uh, 1 by L1 in that case, and uh, this resistance, okay, our dashboard is equivalent to your 1 by R. So, in the case of your, uh, so I'll call this as a uh, 1 by R, and then the spring is again equivalent to. Uh, your inductance, so this will be 1 by L12, and then uh, this will be C2 capacitor. So this will be C2, right? So this is the mechanical equality or an analogous electrical system based on force current analysis. So uh, whatever we have studied, just we have applied here and uh, so on. So I hope that uh, you have understood uh, it. So this finishes your uh, analog system. From tomorrow, uh, we will start log diagram reduction technique. Okay. So if you have any questions, you can ask. Otherwise, we'll close the day. Any questions? Any doubt? If no, shall I close the meeting? Okay.